Hey guys, welcome to Ed's Garage. This is just a quick short video about hidden and little known features of the Hyundai Ionic. Now this happens to be a 2021 version, uh, but I'm just going to show you a couple things that a lot of people are actually not familiar with or don't know about. So first off, on the front here, down here there is an air inlet, and up here you've got actual air intakes that open up um, whenever the system needs a little bit of extra cooling. This badge is not just a badge, that's actually the forward-facing radar system. Did you know that the Hyundai Ionic has power folding mirrors in the, in the Ultimate version? So if I lock the doors, the mirrors will actually fold in on their own. That can actually quickly be enabled and disabled right here with this auto button. So you can actually manually uh, fold them in and manually unfold them whenever you want. Also though, when you put the vehicle into reverse, these mirrors actually will tilt down unless you take this left right button and put it right in the middle then in reverse it will not do that they will just stay in their spot another little hidden feature in regards to the trunk of the hyundai ionic now of course this is a hatchback um, so one little quick thing as long as you have the key with you even if the vehicle is locked you can still open up the trunk it detects the proximity key and allows you to open up the trunk so you don't actually have to worry about unlocking the vehicle first or holding down the trunk latch button or anything like that Alright, someone recently asked how to get rid of this thing when it's not in use. So you'll notice on the very bottom right here, there's actually a little tab. You can grab that tab, get a good, good, good handle on it, and pull it this way, and it allows you to take it out. So that's one small hidden thing. But the next hidden thing is this. Using the privacy cover, all you need to do is put it under the floor, just like that. And then when you put the floor down, it's gone completely. All right, something else that's little known about the Ionic is that, of course, the floor does come out, but check this out. There's actually some hidden storage space underneath the floor in the forward section. So it's not a lot, but it's enough to put, like, maybe a, you know, first aid kit or something like that. Or maybe a jumper pack on that side. Now, most of you are probably aware of the fuel filler release door safety latch that you can pull to pull open the charge door. Now it says fuel filler release door because on the Ionic Hybrid it's the same place. Uh, but there's actually a charge handle manual release right here. So if you can't unlock your charging handle for whatever reason, first off, of course, hit the unlock button on your vehicle again. If that still doesn't work, then pull that and it should release the charge lock. All right, the next small little hidden thing in regards to the center um, shoulder belt. Uh, it doesn't necessarily always have to be here, so check this out. Hopefully your salesperson showed you this, but if not, I'm going to show you. So on the key, there's a little silver button right here. If you press that silver button, you can actually pull the key out. And then what you can do is put the key into here and press. And now that's come loose. And then you can just kind of feed it up here and out of the way. There we go. Did you know that the Ionic has its own built-in cabin air filter with carbon filter? But how do you replace it? Well, I'm going to show you. It's actually quite simple. Pull everything out of your glove box. Pull this little pin by turning to the left. Pull this little pin by turning to its left. And then you can see the cabin air filter cover right here. All you got to do is pull this little cabin air filter cover off and there's the filter. Simple to take out, simple to replace. Right. In 2017 to 2019 Ionics, there was an extra button here for the charge handle auto release lock mechanism. If the light was on, that meant that the lock would actually come off or turn off the lock uh, and allow you to unplug the vehicle um, when it was done charging. When it, while it was charging though, it would remain locked. Now with the light off, it would actually keep it locked until you hit the unlock on the door uh, or on the key fob. In the 2020 and 2021, it's actually in your user settings. So if you're using this button here to scroll through the screen, go down to the user settings, go to convenience, and then you see here, lock charging cable. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And you can see, while charging, always or don't lock at all. So that's where the setting is on the 2020 and the 2021. Are you aware that your vehicle, if it's a 2017 to 2021 Hyundai Ionic Ultimate or Limited, it'll actually have puddle lamps. So that little tiny lens underneath the mirrors actually is a light that shines down on the ground. It may or may not be disabled. So check under the convenience settings, under your user settings, and look for welcome mirror light, and make sure it's checked and enabled. 
Now, in the 2017 to 2019 Ionics, it might be referred to as puddle lights or approach lights. In the Hyundai Ionic, you have automatic climate control system in the electric version. Um, well, actually, in several versions, but in the electric version, this is most important. If you don't like the auto defrost system, you can quickly disable it by holding down the defrost button until it says ADS off. Now the reason you might want to do that is because when the auto defrost system is turned on, you're going to actually get cold air coming out of the defrost because it can't run the heater and the AC at the same time because they're actually one and the same. It runs one direction or the other. So if you don't like that cold air blowing on your face in the winter, that's where you can quickly disable the auto defrost system and then just turn it on when you need it. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, that actually is related to the auto defrost system. That's a moisture sensor. Is your Hyundai Ionic equipped with a sunroof? Then check this out, you're going to love this. So when we open up the Hyundai Ionic sunroof with the auto system, it stops here. Now you can actually open it up further by pressing the button a second time. Check it out. Now the only time you'd want to do that is with the other windows open, otherwise you're going to get that crazy helicopter effect noise inside the cabin. Alright, so that covers pretty much all of the hidden things that a lot of people aren't aware about on the Hyundai Ionic. If you have other tips and tricks to uh, to submit, please don't, have, don't hesitate to comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Have a great day.